So it has been a quite interesting few months, probably weeks, and we, you know, we had Biden's disastrous debate against uh, former president Donald Trump. Then speaking of Donald Trump, we had that assassination attempt on his life. And then we had this worldwide update that caused airlines, banks, and a lot of our jobs to be affected, uh, the internet being affected on every front, every case, every situation. And um, it, it's been wild, it's been crazy. And uh, you know, now we hear, or earlier this week we heard Biden dropped out of the race, leaving Kamala, 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 however it is they call her now, because apparently if you mispronounce it, you're being a racist or something like that. And finally, today, we hear that the DEA hire for the Secret Service, the one in charge of making sure that presidents, former presidents are protected. Finally, after being grilled, destroyed, annihilated in Congress by both parties, to be quite honest, finally said, you know what? I think I'll, I'll turn in my resignation. I, I think I'll do that now. It's been wild. It's been wild. So we all know we're going to start with the whole Biden debacle from his debate, which just to wrap it up in quite a few words, everybody saw this, everybody that knew it was paying attention, knew this back in 2019, before he even ran, that there was something wrong with the guy. But unfortunately, the people out there that don't keep up with the news, a lot of people out there that don't quite get it or just don't care to get it. And then when they vote, they vote out of feelings or they vote because their family tells them to vote some way. Anyhow, this guy got into office, right? So we've had that disaster for the last four years. So now he has this vice president who hasn't done absolutely anything but laugh like a crazy hyena and uh, another DEI hire, by the way. Um, now she apparently is going to be the front runner for the next president of the United States, which leads another crazy uh, opening, another wild conspiracy theory, if you want to call it that with all this nonsense going on all this nonsense happening right now in the world and now we have this dei hire um pretty much placed right for the party that always brags and preaches and yell democracy democracy you know your your elders your your elite your you know the the ones that are supposed to be uh you know, doing all the, the, um, what do you, what would you call that? The ones that are supposed to be doing all the decision makings, I guess they decided to, to put Kamala in charge. So that's going to be your next champion right there. That's kind of wild, kind of crazy, actually, when I really think about it, but it is what it is. It is what the American people apparently want it. At least that's what they say. But now let's check out this craziness. So, so you know, what what we heard this week, what we saw this week, we had President President Trump's, uh, you know, uh, failed assassination, obviously, uh, crook or whatever his name was. No need to really uh, make him famous because because he's just a loser. Um, but <coughs> excuse me. But the guy, you know, he went out there, got on the. Uh, got on the uh, uh stage and you know he went and uh took several shots at the president there are a lot of questions about that somehow he ended up landing one or at least getting one close enough to president trump's ear which thankfully it did not take the president out if anything he got back up stronger and better than ever before so we got the president now, but there are a lot of questions asked, a lot of questions unanswered that people want to know, and rightfully so. We want to know. And the problem is when they keep hiding stuff like this or not being straightforward, not being completely honest, you start having conspiracy theories, right? You start having people coming up with things, and at the same time, to be quite honest, I call it common sense thinking. But now apparently is, you know, conspiracy theory if you say something that makes anything uh 
you know any of these politicians or uh, some sort of uh, now that they protect the group look bad then apparently it's it's a big no-no you shouldn't be you know putting that out there but here we are right and then the other day i go to work and you know i'm at work minding my business i walk in and as i'm walking in all of a sudden you know i see all the computers in the building are out of whack they're going crazy they are not working the way they're supposed to and I, i'm like what's going on so i send my wife a text you know check how she's doing she came back and said yeah it's not only there uh, we're having problems at work as well and it uh, looks like it affected the airlines and i come home and i hear that that thing also affected the uh banks around the world and the corporate behind it crowdstrike company that I've, I've i've seen their logo i've seen some of their names and actually it's former jobs that I've had and apparently they were, they were in charge of some sort of update that pretty much blocked out or completely wiped out the internet worldwide interesting stuff don't know how much we depend on this stuff until this craziness happens and you know um, here we are now we got to figure out you know what's next what's coming down the pipe what is it that we have to uh you know, what is it that we have to do to get this right? But there's a lot more into this CrowdStrike story that, you know, I, I guess, you know, we should probably look more and, and, and dig more and ask more questions about that, too. Could it be a distraction? I don't know. You know, we got we got Biden dropping out. We got Kamala leading the pack. We had an attempt on the president, on former president. Should say, but should still be president. But anyhow. um, And like I said, Mr. Biden decided to say, you know, calling it quits we are out we are done running we we won't let somebody else and i'm gonna endorse my dei hire and she's over there <laughs> you know all, all happy that he's endorsed her so it'll be it'll be some fun funny hilarious times there um i don't know it'll be it'll be interesting um but to be happy about today's news the complete news today uh, the day the news of the day obviously is uh, DEI hire Kimberly Cheadle has quit has resigned and that was after she got grilled in Congress this week if you guys didn't watch that here and I suggest you go look it up they're all kind of she's getting beat down by both sides I'll give her some I guess I'll give her some uh props she didn't cry you know the way they were beating her down and she kept her composure and and stuck to her guns i mean and she even said she wasn't resigning i mean i wouldn't give up a 500 600 700 thousand dollar job a year right whatever it is she's getting paid i don't know so i bet you something way over her head that she should have never took in the first place uh you know and and quite frankly uh it was a disaster and i remember uh you know uh, uh, nancy mace from uh you know one of the representatives asking her you know was it a disaster and and, and cheeto comes out and starts you know spitting some craziness out of her mouth and you know she got she got beat up pretty bad she got beat up pretty bad and it's good that she decided to say um you know what I, and in the other hand i'm gonna quit because Congressman Luna just said, "You know what? We're, we're just going to go ahead and you know, you know, hold you to contempt because you're, you're perjured yourself." And I think she did. I think she did. There are more questions now than there are answers. There's still something out there about a shooter up in in the tower as well. That form of several people have seen in my eyewitnesses videos, and I mean, it's kind of hard, right? Again, conspiracy theories start because uh, information they're not being truthful in a lot of the information they give us so people start making up stories and we get here we get to this place where we now have to uh, assume what happened assume whether or not it is an attack whether or not we are an attack whether or not something happened you know and it's and it's sad and it shouldn't be but it is and um the best thing to do is go to the polls this year storm those polls don't don't just you know say well he's got in the bag don't don't think trump has it in the bag you need to go vote go vote I'm telling you vote if you're not registered register if you don't think it affects you it affects you okay vote vote don't just listen to the media look at what happened the last few years don't listen to the media they'll tell you it was bad the worst economy trump under 
No, no, I, I had more money in my pocket while Trump was in office. Got promotions, bought my house, big house, really big house. Got a good job while Trump was in office. You know, so just just know that. Do your research. I mean, uh, look at the uh, DNC or the NC, the RNC from last week, where uh, what's her name? Um, Amber Rose. Listen to her speech. She did her research and see how she feels about it today. That's what everybody needs to do. That's what you should do. Just don't take my word for it, right? And uh, you know, go vote. Best thing to do is go and vote.